Hi guys, welcome back to the Big B and Little T channel. As I told you in my other video, I'm just going to do a quick demo of some things that I've learned in this digitizing process. I am in my digitized studio better known as an extra bedroom in our apartment, but I'm blessed that I can keep this all just kind of out and I don't have to get take boxes in and out and I've already got things set up. So let me just walk you through some things that I've learned. As I told you in the last video, for those of you that don't know, this is a photo album. Many of you don't know what that is anymore, but we have probably 50, 75, or I don't know how many, but we have a lot. And the first thing that I learned was it's actually better if you can to take the photos out of the album. These came out very easily of our kitty cats and our dog because it's just easier to scan the photo. But there are situations like this is the old fashioned photo album where you had that sticky kind of film that went on it. And yes, that's me as a gymnast when I was probably 17 years old. And in some cases, it's better to keep the photo in there because it just sticks and if you try to take it out, it'll rip the photo. But if you can, try to take them out because when you do, you just get a clearer shot. Then you don't have all of the glare. So after I take all of them out, I just throw them in there and I just randomly pick out a pop, usually around 50 or so. Then I come, I take out that app, the Photo Mine app, and I'm not gonna actually demonstrate too much because it's just pretty easy. You just take a scan of each photo. So I'll scan that photo and take another one and I just keep going and just keep going. Once I get those done, then I will upload those to Amazon Photos. And while they're uploading, I will come back and I'll throw them into this box. This is my box and you need to look and see that yes, I have done a lot of scanned photos. So these are all done, but they need to be sorted into boxes. So the final step is I have a box for virtually every folder that matches on Amazon Photos. So of our kids, Zach, Kylie, Bree, then Tina and I, then relatives and friends, and then mixed whatever, and then last, yep, we got a lot of pictures of our animals. So I will come and take the photos that I just scanned of, let's just say our animals, and I'll drop them down in there. And then I'll do one, uh, this is an interesting one because that's me, if you don't recognize me, and that's my best friend. So really, it needs to go in two boxes. So I can't really, I'll just make an executive decision that I'm gonna put it into this box. Brian's but the cool thing on Amazon photos is once you upload it and you create your albums you can put that photo in two different albums so we have a lot of those of family photos so the kids will have all the family photos now as I told you in the last video the last step after this when I get everything done is that each of our kids and our relatives or however we're going to do it are going to get a box full of scanned photos and they get to decide what they want to do with those photos. They might choose to throw them away. They might choose to put them back in albums. I don't think so. Or they might just, you know, look at them as a digitized or whatever it may be. But at that point it's out of our hands and then we're not hauling those photo albums from place to place and so on. So that's my process. I hope it helps. Make sure you comment, make sure you like the video. If you have a, maybe a question or maybe you've learned something in, in the digitizing process that will help me as I finish out the next 10,000 photos, I'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, you guys go out and make it a great day. Bye-bye.